Hey everybody, this is Steve, and in the church, we talk a lot about what we don't know. One word you'll hear a lot in the church, a word that often confuses people, is mystery. You'll often hear Christians talk about sacraments, things like baptism and marriage and Holy Communion, yet Orthodox Christians tend to refer to mysteries a different word which reflects a different mindset. We hear sermons on the mystery of the Incarnation or read books on the cosmic mystery of Jesus Christ. Yet some people get really impatient with this word. After all, a mystery is something that's difficult or impossible to understand. And in a world where we can study everything from subatomic particles to the development of entire galaxies where our scientists know more than ever before and are discovering more every day, it can be frustrating to simply shrug our shoulders and admit that there are a bunch of things we'll never know. The word mystery makes people think that our faith is blind which doesn't make sense in a world full of knowledge and experiments and proof. Yet, the word mystery, at least in the church, is a bit more complicated than that. To help explain what I mean, I'll use an illustration I learned from Father Maximus of Simonopetra Monastery. An Athenite monk, he was my professor at Holy Cross Greek Orthodox School of Theology and will be our keynote speaker at the upcoming Youth and Camp Workers Conference. The link? is down in the doobly-doo. Imagine you had a perfectly transparent object sitting on a table next to you. You couldn't see it, of course, and you wouldn't be able to say anything about its color, size, or shape. But what if you covered it with a cloth, something like a handkerchief? Suddenly, you have an idea of the size and shape of the object. So you're caught in this weird paradox. You've revealed something about the object by covering it up. You discovered something about the object by concealing it. But the opposite is true too. At the same time you revealed something about the object, you also highlighted things about it that you don't know. You've raised a bunch of new questions that you just can't answer. You're caught in this fascinating tension between knowing and not knowing, between learning something and realizing that there are more things you don't, maybe even can't, no. Or think about how you can never really know another person, not even the people with whom you are closest. You can know lots of things about them and with some people, like your spouse for instance, you may even know each other in a way that transcends mere facts or words. Yet, no matter how intimate your relationship is with a person, who they are is never exhausted. You never know everything there is to know about them. They remain a mystery at their core. And this is one of the beautiful and challenging things about the church. Because the church is full of mysteries. The church herself is a mystery. We know that the church is the body of Christ, that we are members of his body. Yet, for as much as we are given to know and understand, there is just as much, probably even more, that remains beyond our ability to know. The church, of course, is our main contact and encounter with the mystery of Jesus Christ. And in Christ, for the first time, we can see the image of the invisible God. We can look the Son of God himself in the face. Just like the invisible object we made visible after we covered it with a handkerchief, the invisible God made himself visible in Jesus Christ, the Word of God who clothed himself in our human flesh and our human nature. In fact, the greatest revelation of God is Jesus Christ on the cross. The crucifixion shows us the Lord's unfathomable love, his unimaginable humility, yet it also leaves us in awe. How exactly can the Son of God, who is all-powerful, bring himself to such a point of weakness? How can he who fills all things and give all things life empty himself to the point of death, to the point of laying down his life for us? There's really only one reaction in the face of a mystery like this. Not more study, not more discussion, just awe. Just the experience of wonder of being in the face of something and someone bigger than our understanding, yet something and someone who we know loves us completely. In Christ, we encounter God who is now knowable yet remains unknowable. 
God who is now with us personally, intimately, yet who at the same time remains so completely beyond us, bigger than even our biggest ideas about him. To say that the church is full of mysteries, that the church herself is fundamentally a mystery, is to say that the church is not an idea to be grasped, but a reality to be lived. To say that the church is a mystery is an invitation to each and every one of us to live in this mystery, to live in this tension between knowing and not knowing, of constantly growing closer to God while constantly learning just how far we still have to go. To know the unknowable God, not simply as an idea or fact, but with our whole hearts, with our whole lives. To immerse ourselves in this mystery, deepening our love and experience of our in exhaustible God. So let's be the bee and enter more deeply into the mystery of God. Be the bee and live orthodoxy. Remember to like and subscribe and share. I'll see you all next week. Thanks to our supporters on Patreon who helped make this episode possible. To support the creation of more Orthodox Christian content, please visit patreon.com slash y2y.